Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we go over some of the last GBT14 reveals from like 10 minutes ago. And of course, let's have a look at these beautiful playmats. Link in the description. So first off, we have a nice congratulations promo for Cruising Boy. Of course, Japan gets another useful pretty promo. We'll just have to wait and see what the English game gets. We also saw some art reveals for Minerva. If you saw the episode of Sunday, you'd know the new form of Minerva basically restands a whole field. I've been hearing some interesting whispers about huge defensive plays with a G guard as well because you can soul blast stuff that then powers up the vanguard in your opponent's turn. This would actually be a very great counter to Sherrod which guard restricts everything so we'll have to see how all of this turns out. However the most important reveal we got today was Gizeh's skill or most importantly Gizeh's mechanic as a whole and boy is it interesting. Gizeh is apparently a two-sided card. One side is a starting vanguard, a forerunner, and the other side is Gizeh himself. The forerunner, well it's not a real forerunner, but that side says, when you ride on him, he is bound into the G-zone and from that point, every trigger power gain becomes a new skill. That new skill allows you to bind one Zeroth Dragon phase up from your G-zone every time you trigger. Once you reach 5 phase up Zeroth Dragons, you automatically ultimate stride into Gizeh. Now, some people were saying since Neon Gizeh goes into the G-zone, he would activate GB1 from turn 1, but that is not true. There is a very specific red symbol that states he does not contribute to GB. The big Gizeh says, when you stride into him, you exclude all other circles, soul and G-zone, you call up to 5 Zeroth Dragons you bound, then you cannot ride you cannot call any rear guards other than Zeroth Dragons. This card is unaffected by anything but Guardians. Your rear guards cannot be attacked and your units will not return to the G zone. So you call 5 Zeroth Dragons, your opponent can't do anything about it and then as I predicted before, Gizeh does not leave the Vanguard Circle at the end of the turn and remains a 30k base. And then next turn, at the start of your turn, you deal 1 damage to the opponent for every Zeroth Dragon that's on your field still. This card basically automatically wins the game for you if your opponent doesn't manage to pierce through the 30k body. Keep in mind though that with a little early trigger luck, this ridiculous beast could be on their vanguard circle before you hit your second or even first stride. That is absolutely insane. And I believe we will see some decks that attempt to deck in so much that their triggering ratio goes up earlier. Also keep in mind that this means you will need all Zeroth Dragons in order to have a Gizeh deck. This will probably be the most expensive deck imaginable and if this turns out to be as good as some people assume, tournaments might become a real Wallet Warrior game. Regardless, remember that many Springfest events are way after set 14, meaning they might actually be in the meta of the new season rather than a Gizeh meta if that even happens. So for Europe for example, most of them are May to June, so we probably won't even notice this card. Let's end this episode on something fun however with some new Bermuda Triangle sleeves. I hope the waifus can somewhat diminish the salt you may taste as you witness this new mechanic. That was it for today, thank you so much for watching, if you found this interesting please subscribe to the Solemn Vanguard channel for more videos like this. Click the bell button to stay up to date. Click that bell button right now next to the subscribe button. Like the video if you did and let me know in the comments down below what you think of these latest reveals. Let's get some discussion going. Ciao!